Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tricia. I'm excited for those that are new. Welcome to my channel. I am starting another room in my house and I want to take you along on the journey of me making over this room. I call it my entertainment slash office. So what I'm going to do is start by doing an accent wall in there. And what I did was a board and batten wall. And you're like, what is that? If you're not familiar with what is a board and batten wall, it's basically where you're using boards and long strips of wood to create shapes and you attach it to the wall. There are so many patterns out there that you could do, but the one that I'm going to do is called the grid pattern. I'll make sure to put the formula in the description box below just in case you want to get the right measurements for your particular wall. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step in the process is to measure your wall width and height. For me, I wanted to keep the crown molding and baseboard. So I made sure to subtract the height of the molding and the baseboard from my actual wall height. If you don't have these things, you don't have to worry about this part. So I needed 16 boards. I decided to take a trip to the store and pick up MDF board that was three and a half inches wide by eight feet tall. Once I got the boards home, I painted 10 of the boards. So these 10 boards were going to go around the perimeter of the wall. So I decided it would be easier if I painted it before I nailed it to the wall rather than do it later. Once the boards were dry, I cut each of the boards down to the exact height of the wall. Then I added a strip of liquid nails to the back of it and nailed it to the wall starting with the sides. In my diagram, I have it measured out where I have the vertical boards every 34 inches. It's a good idea to have a level to make sure that the boards are plumb. This is what the wall looked like once I installed all of the vertical boards. Now it was time to cut the horizontal pieces. I made sure to measure first before I cut the boards. To make my life easier, I cut a scrap piece of wood down to 24 inches, which was the height of my boxes. I placed the scrap wood on top of each board and placed the level on top to mark where the next board should go. Next, I cut each horizontal board down to the correct length, then placed liquid nails on top and attached it to the wall where I made the mark. Here's what the boards should look like now. The outer boards are painted, but the inner ones are not. I repeated the same process until I had 15 squares. Next, I used dry decks to fill in all the cracks. I like using this product because it goes on pink, but it changes to white once it dries. I used a piece of 120 grit sandpaper to sand down the filler until I had a smooth surface. Afterwards, I wiped down and vacuumed all the dust on the wall and floor. Then I painted only the perimeter of each square. Next, I used the roller to paint the inside of the squares. Here's what it looked like once I finished. I'm in love. This was a project that cost me less than $200 with paint. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very helpful. If you have any questions or would like to make a comment, just drop it in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.